Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Sales Navigator to verify LinkedIn ads targeting. So let's jump into it. So I use this in a few different ways when building audiences for LinkedIn ads. I'll go into Sales Navigator and I'll verify some things or I'll do some research to see if there's any other job titles that we should include um, and also exclude. So I'll show you how I go about that. So first way, say you have a company list and you're putting together an audience. What I will do sometimes is I'll put the companies in Sales Navigator. So I'm on the lead section in Sales Navigator and I'll add in uh, the different company names. And then if we know we wanna target specific job titles within those companies, I'll put those job titles in there. And then I also have the ge geography for the personal set to United States here. So this is just an example I put in Microsoft and CFO, current job title, CFO, and the, for users located in the United States. And uh, it shows 17 results here. So when you think CFO, you might think, oh, there's only one CFO with a, within a company, um, especially larger companies. You know, there's gonna be regional, divisional CFOs. So this can just help you understand if you're in LinkedIn ads, uh, these are some of the potential people that will see your ads. Sales Navigator, isn't gonna sh it's not one-to-one -one with how LinkedIn ads targeting works. LinkedIn ads uh, is still gonna have more people targeted if you put CFO um, than what Sales Navigator is gonna show here, but this does give you a sample of potentially who could see it. So we see you know, the CFO, Microsoft Federal, Industry Solutions, Latin America CFO. So what you could potentially do in this case is you could exclude divisional and regional CFOs, those are uh, job title options within LinkedIn ads. So you can make those exclusions. And this just uh, gives you a little bit insight of who will potentially see your ads. Now that's one option of how you can use Sales Navigator to better understand your audience. Another option is, is if you're in your campaign manager, you go to the plan section, audiences, go to the save tab and you create a new saved audience. I already have one uh, I'm, I'm creating right now. So uh, I'm targeting US uh, company industries, company sizes, member skills, and job titles. And I'm putting in uh, some parameters there. And then if you click apply, it's gonna show you, you can look at uh, different attributes of your audience that you put in here and get insights. So I'm on the members tab and I'll scroll down here and you can see all the job titles related to project manager. So the only job title I put in the targeting is project manager. Now we can see there's a lot of other job titles associated with the job title project manager. And then as you review the job titles, if there's any that you're not totally sure, like, oh, should we exclude or include? So let's say it's construction manager. You can go into sales navigator, put in that job title. I put in construction manager here. I put in the industry construction. And then I was just looking at the, the different profiles that come up here and I can see we have mechanical construction manager. And when I see the about here and it looks like, you know, oversees several departments, including project management. So this might be someone that you still would want to target. So in this case, you might want to keep construction manager even though it's not specifically like project manager. So that can be helpful just to verify, you know, do these profiles, are these potential people that I would be okay putting ads in front of? And if it's not, then you can always exclude construction manager in the exclusion section. And then lastly, you can also use Sales Navigator just to put in a job title and um, you know put in a ge geography. And I put supply chain specialists here, and you can just see the different job titles that fall under supply chain specialists. So we see, you know, supply chain optimization project, merchandise supply team, procurement search, strategic sourcing analysis. So if you do put in some of these maybe more broader job titles like supply chain specialist, marketing specialist, you're gonna have a lot of different job titles that fall under there. You can use the audience insights like we were just looking at, but it could be helpful to come in here and just see you know, some of the job titles that are falling under here. 
and uh, can help you understand if you want to further narrow that down. Because um, someone maybe on your team might say, yeah, let's target supply chain specialists. And after you look at the audience insights and you look in Sales Navigator, you could you know come back with some feedback maybe that that's a little too broad for our, you know, our purpose and our, the goals that we want to achieve with our LinkedIn ads, and then you can make some uh, exclusions as necessary. So those are a few ways that I use Sales Navigator when I'm working with clients and we're building out their audience, uh, because you know, getting the audience right is really important within LinkedIn ads, and then you want to put the right messaging in front of those people. So uh, it's an important step, and Sales Navigator can be helpful to help you uh, fine tune that. So if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out. And thanks for watching and have a great day.